My name is Sarah Tabrizi. I'm a professor of neurology at UCL at the Institute of Neurology and I'm the director of the UCL Huntington's Disease Centre. We're really pioneering treatments that are working on neutralising the gene that causes Huntington's disease and it's really exciting. We're working on how we can try and switch off the gene in the brains of patients. Huntington's disease is one of many diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and motor neuron disease. But unlike the more common versions of those diseases, Huntington's disease is purely genetic and it causes abnormal movements, it causes you to lose the ability to think, speak, communicate and then results uh, in death after about 15 years. And because of the genetics of the disease, it's not just a disease of individuals and relatively young individuals because they're in their 40s is the average age of onset, but it can affect children. I'm looking after children with the disease. And because, but it's a disease of families. And I think also with Huntington's disease is people can have what we call predictive genetic testing. And that's to find out if you're going to develop the disease in the future. So you have a genetic test and you find out about your destiny. And about 20% of people who have an affected parent or who are at risk choose to have that testing. And a lot of my work has been also studying large groups of people who carry the gene but who are still well to try and understand more about the disease. And what we are showed in our first study was that the drug got to the brain of patients, adult patients with Huntington's disease, and that the drug targeted the Huntington message in the brain and reduced the level of the toxic bad proteins. And so the trial was a very important beginning but now we have to test it in hundreds of people with Huntington's disease to see if it actually slows the disease progression. And that's the next step. It's cutting edge science, but it's very closely linked to looking after the patients and families in the NHS. And without the NHS, we couldn't do that. And so there's a real partnership between UCL, the university and the research with UCLH and the National Hospital with the patients. And it's absolutely closely linked. It's an unbeatable combination.